Hi, today we're going to see how to create a typography text effect in PhotoP. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the background from our layer here. So you can either go to select, remove BG, or just go to the eraser and then select the magic eraser, left click. So this tool works quite good with the solid background like this one here. So here are the settings I'm using and now I'm just going to left click. It did quite a good job. So now I'm going to add a new layer, left click here, I'm going to move it down. And now let's change the foreground and background to white. So I'm going to use, so I'm going to use a white color for this layer here. Select the white in the foreground, left click here, select the paint bucket tool and then left click. Now select the move tool. Now I'm going to reduce the size of the banana here. Select the, this layer here, the banana layer. Check the transform controls. Now I'm going to scale it down from the handles so i think i'm going to leave it with this one here and now click here to confirm and now i'm going to uncheck the transform controls i'm going to center my layer i'm going to move it here like this so now i'm going to type my text so select the type tool left click here so for the font i'm going to change it to anton for the size, I will change it to 350. And for the color, I'm going to change it to black. Click OK. And now left click. And now I'm going to start typing. So here it is. And now select the Move tool. I'm going to move it down like this. And now I'm going to convert my text layer into a shape. So right click. And then here, convert to shape. So now I think I'm going to move it down a little bit. And now go to edit, transform, and then warp. So now I'm going to bring this part here down here like this. With this one, I'm going to move it for this point here. I'm going to move it here. And now for this one, I'm going to move it here. Now I'm going to bring the top part. So I think here I'm okay. So now I'm going to confirm the warp, left click here. And now I'm going to make selection from my text here. Hold the control key and then left click on the text layer. So here it is, here's our selection. Now I'm going to hide my text layer and now select the banana layer, this one here. And now just click on this icon here, add raster mask. So as you can see, it kept only our selection here from the banana layer, so it created the raster mask. So on the raster mask, the black represents transparency and the white opacity. So as you can see, here is our text, in the raster mask. So now I just need to reveal the other parts here, my layer on the raster mask by painting with white. Select the paint brush tool, left click here, the brush tool, sorry. I'm going to change the foreground color to white. So here it is, and I'll press OK going to increase this size a little bit and now I'm just going to paint here on the edges so I'm going to increase the size and now let's go here now for example I will select the zoom tool so here I just want to adjust a little bit this part here select the brush change the color the foreground color to black now i'm going to reduce the size make sure you're on the raster mask now i'm just going to adjust it so select the zoom tool right click and then fit the area so here for example so here it is that's how you can create a typography text effect in photo p thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time